Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. Today we have a video on uh, spot drilling, peck drilling, and tapping. So spot drill tap, and where it's two quarter twenty holes. So let's get started. Okay, here's our part. We rotate it around a bit so you can see. We have two holes there. We're gonna pretend like they're quarter to twenty holes. We need to spot them, drill them, and tap them. Let's go to toolpaths. And we're going to verify all of our previous operations. So we can see what our part looks like so far. We're just going to let this load here for a second. Okay, so we will we'll watch this. We're going to turn the holder off so we just see the tool. Click play. So this is operation one. We're going to click on verify and we're going to click on color loop. And the color loop um, changes the color of the part for each tool path. So dynamic it. Ramped around that profile, now it's surfacing this radius. That looks good. Now it's dynamic thing, the stock off the back. and it'll engrave the part. So, that looks good. We have a clean surface to spot, drill, and tap these quarter 20 holes. Okay, so, checked or verify, everything's looking good. Now, We'll go to 300 in our work coordinate system and we'll select drill. And we're going to start off by spotting these two holes. So we select that hole and it snaps to the middle. Same for the other. Click the check, go to tool. Go to select library tool. We need a spot drill, so we're gonna go with three eighths because that's that's big enough for a quarter twenty. So next, we need to go to edit tool. We're gonna change the tool number and we're gonna change the speeds and feeds. So. That all looks good. We'll keep it at a 90 degree. Tool number, tool four. Speeds and feeds. We go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com. Go down to carbide drills because this is a carbide spot drill we're using. Type in the tool diameter. Service feet, 700. Inch per rev. It says 12 thou, but we're going to take it easy on our spot drill. We'll just go 1 thou. If you're running production, you could probably go the full 12, but we'll just stay at stay at 1 for now. We'll go 7,000 RPM. So 7 inches a minute, 7,000 RPM. And depth, we use a depth calculator. We want it to finish at a diameter of 265 thou. 
because it's a quarter 20, meaning the outer diameter of the major diameter of that tap is 250,000. So 265,000 would be good. I'm going to add it and click the check. So it's actually in operation 200, so we're just going to create a uh, new toolpath group. Call it 300. And then we're going to drag and drop toolpath 9 into there. Toolpath 9 is the drill counter bore, which is our spot drill. So we're going to back plot it now that it's in the right operation. And in back plot, that's looking pretty good. We'll check verify later, but for right now, that looks good. So, next, we have to drill. And we do copy previous points. That's a shortcut to copy the previous points selected by the spot drill. So, now, we go to drill, click the check, and now what drill do we use for a quarter 20 tap? Go back to easy speeds and feeds, go to pre-tap drill size database, scroll down and we're gonna find a quarter 20 drill. So something close to 201,000, so it should be number seven. Let's go back to Mastercam. Found a number seven, click edit. So we have the right tool now. Now we need to change the tool number and the speeds and feeds. So tool number will be five. Go back to aluminum. Go down to a uh, high speed steel drill. And we'll type in 201 thou. Surface feet will use 300 inch per rev. Go 4 thou. So, 22 inches a minute, 5700 RPM. Click finish. Cut parameters, change it to peck drill. We'll go 50 thou pecs. So it's going to go 50 thou down, retract all the way up, and then go 50 thou down plus another 50, and keep doing that until we get to our depth. And we'll set our depth at minus 800 thou. So I think we should verify all these and see what we got. So again, here's operation one. We've seen this before. I'll try to make it quick. Operation two is taking off the hat and engraving the back side. Operation three is spotting it and drilling it. So that looks good. It's leaving a nice lead in for our tap. And it looks like it drilled a hole. So those are pretty good conditions to tap. Right size hole and lead in, that's what we want. So save it real quick, go back to drill hit copy previous points, click the check, go to tool, select library tool, click on filter, we'll go to tap right hand. So 
It's a right-handed tap. Go to core 20. Click the check. Edit tool. Tool number, we'll go to tool 6. Feed rate, we'll go 15 inches a minute. Not too fast. And that spits out 300 for our spindle speed. In cut parameters, we go to tap. Depth, we will set it to minus 500 thou. Hit the check. Okay, so we have our spot done, our drill done, and our tap done. We're going to back plot our tap. Looks like it's going in and out just like we want. So, we're going to go through a verify for the final time, and we're going to see what the end result looks like. What we should see is a hole with just a little bit of a lead in from our spot drill F, which is what we want. We want just a little bit, not too much of a lead in. Operation 1 is done. It's doing op 2. So, that looks like it did it just right. We have a little bit of a lead in for a quarter to 20 and we're going to rewind a little bit see if we can't get another angle at those tool paths they're very short tool paths so it's hard to catch them and verify so there's that peck drill and there's the tap so zoom in, and you can see that it has a nice lead in, and also that it tapped it. So there's a quick little video on how to do, do spot drill, drill, and tap. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, subscribe for more videos, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks.